In this video, we will set up our basic music bot for Discord and we will log in and when a user sends hi, it replies with hi. And this is the foundation for our play and stop commands which will be in the next video. So, let's get started. Hello there, so I'm going to open the folder, so change directory documents.projects code, we can make a new folder here or a directory called music bot. Let's go into music bot, okay, and then all we can just, instead of going into the music bot directory, make sure you have VS code, we're going to be using VS code for this quite a lot. So make sure you have that installed. VS Code download, you can type that in if you want on Google, but code. Now code music dash bot. Now we've opened the bot. Let's get started. Okay. Now, let's quickly initialize our repository. I have more tutorials on everything, all the details and Git etc. So let's type git init, make sure you have the git cli enabled or installed, sorry. You can download that. git cli download. So you can download that here. And there we go. So what has what did this do? Well currently I am using bash, git bash. <laughs> this came with git by the way. So, yeah, so what bash is, is instead of using cmd, I just use bash, I prefer it. It has commands like lslah, which shows hidden files and folders, and that created a .git folder that wasn't there before. Interesting fact, dot .folders are usually hidden, so, or dot .files, so that's interesting. So we can tell that we've initialized a repository. What should we do now? Well, I'm going to npm init yes. So let's initialize a repository. We're going to install two packages. Okay. So we're going to install discord.js, 2pg music, and that's it. Now, we're going to explain what 2pg music is. So 2pg music is an npm package and it's used for 2pg. And this is the basic syntax that we could use. Now we can look at the repo, I made it by the way, for 2pg. And it performs like a music client. So here are the docs. Now we're going to install discord.js and 2pg music. We just did that, added it to package.json, which should do when we install it. Dash s for save. There we go. So whilst that's doing that, let's make a, a file called bot.js. Now this will contain the bot code, so let's make that const. Now we can use ES6 syntax with this. Some people want to use import, which is new to, to JavaScript and or Node.js, sorry. And we're going to use that today. So all we have to do is, well, instead of using const require, const package equals require, etc., the common JS syntax. So you would do discord.js. This is what you would do. So const discord or client like that. This is what you would do, but you can change this, import client from discord.js, the package, and that is essentially the same thing. So if we're doing it this way, we can add module, or type, sorry, we can add type module, and this is how we import it. So we're not using common JS, which is require, etc. There we go. So we import client, font spot equals new client. Okay, so bot.login. So make sure you put your bot token here. 
I'm actually going to get that from discord.com slash developers. So what bot are we going to use? Well, let's use 4PG for this one. So, there we go, there's our 4PG. Now, we should put this in a config.json file uh, to separate it. So we put bot, or we can just put token in here. The scope of this bot is planned to be pretty simple, so we can do it like that now. Import. We don't have to type .js, that is not importing a JS file. It's import the module name is called discord.js, keep in mind. So if it was a JS file, so if we wanted to import bot.js from another file, it would be dot slash bot.js if it's in the same folder. But we want to import config.json. So let's import config from config.json. Now if we hold control and hover over it, we can see that it's importing this, which is what we want. So config.token, that's it. There we go. Now, let's add some events. So bot.on, ready. So when the bot is ready, when the bot is ready, let's console dot log the bot is ready or just bot is ready there we go so now I can just type no dot now it will fail because the start is not index.js it's actually bot.js so you can type node dot or you can type node bot.js okay Hold on, we also have an issue with git, so as you can see, there's so many changes, there isn't really, we just added a lot of files that are being tracked, we want to not track them, so we add a dot git ignore, and that will tell git to ignore node modules, and config.json as well, if we, if we had config.json, not being get ignored and we pushed this so this is how we host code online with git and that's what github is so if we posted this online that would not be good so let's add that again and now it's not it's no longer tracked so it never knew it existed because it was in git ignore so that is secure even if your bot token was published online, there's a security feature where Discord resets your token, just in case, which is a backup option. Okay, now you can type node dot, okay, so unknown file extension dot json. Okay, so I googled the solution we were having to this problem. Google your errors, that helps a lot, but be don't be too specific. So start and then we type node this and then bot.js. I tried this after bot.js but it did not run. So keep that in mind. npm start. And now there we go. Bot is ready. Just ignore this warning. So how do we know if the bot is ready or not? Well, we can check and 4PG is online, so that is good. Okay, so one more thing we're gonna add to the bot is message handling or command handling. So, bot.onMessage, it actually takes in a callback here, which is message, msg, for short. So if message.author is a bot, then return. We don't want to reply to bots, otherwise it's gonna, if it sends a message, it's going to infinitely respond to messages and we don't want that and then message.reply hi 
So message.reply hi, and we're going to make this function async like this. And then npm start like that. So bot is ready, we type hi. So if someone sent a message, it replies with this, and then hi. There we go. So in the next video, we're going to add commands to our bot. We're going to add play and stop. So subscribe for more videos like this, as this series is going to be similar to the dashboard series, but not as many videos. If you need support, you can also join AdamJR community. You can find answers to your questions here, and I'll answer you if I'm online, otherwise someone else can answer you. But there we go, discord.io slash Anyways, see you there.